we do have four members of the board here, so I'm going to call this meeting to order. John said he would not be able to make it, I gather. Um, uh, so, um, this is a regular meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you have four members of the board, myself, Bob Warnick, Chair, Tour Nelson. Uh, on the screen we have Carla Weasel, who is a Vice Chair. We have Paul Berti. And we have our recording secretary, Carla Preston. Hey. Hey so, um, before we begin, let me swear in anybody who intends to give testimony before this board tonight. Please raise your right hand. Thank you. Uh, you swear to tell the truth, nothing but truth, the matters before this board tonight under penalties of perjury. I do. I do. Thank you. All right. Uh, we might as well proceed immediately and um, ask you to give us an uh, uh, just overview of the sure. project. So we understand it. I'm going to probably ask you to walk us through the map a yep, little bit too. To. But uh, why don't you give us an overview of what you want to propose to do here so we can proceed rapidly. Sure. Uh, so I've owned this piece of property uh, it's just into Berlin over the Montpelier line on Northfield Street, Route 12, Vermont Route 12. And uh, it's actually two parcels of land that are connected together. There's two lots. I own them both, one uh, lot one and lot two of a subdivision that happened a few years back. Um, the front lot has a it's mostly an open field it has a log cabin or a log structure in the middle of it that was originally built in the 1970s is my understanding it's about a thousand square feet a thousand four square feet and my intent is to the reason i'm here tonight is to put an addition on that building a 36 by 40 addition on more or less the south end of it um, that um, was going to increase the square footage of the space and i'm a woodworker by trade i have a cabinet shop and my intent is to move my business into that those two that expanded space so that's the proposal matter of curiosity are you used to that existing log building now it's rented out they rented out okay yeah. i see very little activity there so yeah there's a couple guys in there that um, use it to store mostly store stuff there's an electrician that stores some things in there and okay. there's not a whole lot going on and you're a resident of East Montpelier? You're a resident of East Montpelier, correct. Got to get him to move. <laughs> come, on, come on over, right? I, I didn't know if you were in that existing house lot too or not. I, I don't live there, no. I rent that out as well. Okay, yep. so that's rented. Yep. You still own lot two, though. Correct. All right. Yeah. Um, questions, members of the board? It, yeah, Polly? Yeah, I, I have a question. I. I didn't catch it if you said it. What is the, the front building that you want to expand? What's businesses in there? Uh, the, the, both with the current the existing structure and the addition will both be a woodworking shop. Cabinet, okay. Cabinet shop. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. That must be a busy trade right now. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on some wood. Yeah. Right, yeah. May it continue. Um, yeah. Okay, um, if there are no other questions by board members, Tom, do you have any comments you want to make? Not at the proceed? time, Mr. Chair. Okay, well, we have a nice narrative from you, Eric. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, help me pronounce your first name. Eric. Eric. Yep, like not Eric. Eric. Not Eric. Eric. I want to keep saying Eric. But. You can, but that's not going to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you give him a permit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, um, beginning, beginning. So, um, <laughs> The um, uh, criteria are, are in the site plan review are, are, are clear. It starts with parking and loading. And you've given us a narrative, but yep. perhaps you want to paraphrase it for us. Sure. Um, parking and loading is mostly in the, um, in the front of the building. I'm planning on a uh, two. What I proposed is two parking places on the uh, front, the driveway side, I should guess, maybe, of the addition. Um, Plenty of room for deliveries, turnaround. Um, it's a pretty flat area, which is really nice. Snow can be pushed either direction. Um, and a gravel um, a gravel drive, which is fitting with what else is leading up to the house and is currently there. Talk about your your narrative here. You say yeah. our regulation. What yeah. Are regu yeah, sure. So the regulation, I think, based on square footage um, of the two structures together would require three parking places. Um, based on just though I know if it's my business, I know the space I need. Um, 
I'm proposing two, two spots instead. There is plenty of room there. Um, I'm happy to add that third, third spot if you guys would like it, but it is less um, imp impermeable surface to have less parking places um, and um, less interruption of the field that's around. You are expanding the access drive a little bit to accommodate your um, new building. Correct. And provide for the parking on the side. On the, along the side as well, yeah. And that's yeah. also for, partly for means of egress out the side. Yeah. And that's going to be a graveled. Gravel, correct. Yeah. yeah. Which is, of course, impervious. Yeah. Um, question, Tom? No. Um, adequate circle, circulation, parking, and loading? Yep. Uh, once again, we, you know, my business takes probably. Uh, uh, oh. You already started to address oh. parking, so yeah. it's just loading. Loading is, there's yeah. adequate room to pull the trucks up along the side of the building as well as to back up a larger truck in the very maybe once a year in frequency that it may happen how about access uh, to the facility for off of route 12 yeah yeah so there's currently a road cut at route 12 um, which services the existing log structure as well as uh, the house that's behind it so it's one drive one road cut off of route 12 and i'm proposing to keep that exactly like it is um, probably would improve the driveway some in here just to help it not get as muddy if they were going to increase any traffic on there. But it's actually really nicely drained soil. It holds up pretty well um, with its current traffic. Um, so no no amendments to the actual road cut area itself. It is a right of way apparently to a lot number three. Is that correct? I believe that there is a right of way to lot three. Um, but actually, yeah, there may be a right of way to lot three. Well, I think it was the Greg Western's property. Remember the, that Mr. Yeah. Western did this subdivision a couple of years yeah. ago? Yeah. And he retained, I think, lot three. He retained lot three, right? It kind of Which contiguous with his acreage. His residence yeah. is in the structures in the city of Montpelier. Right, but he right. wanted this this lot, yeah. Correct. And sort of, yeah. But he, this is his access to that. I, I think he also has access to his other lot. He does. He does. So he has yeah. access both ways. Um, yeah. I raise that only because yeah. the intersection with 12 is a terrible intersection. I mean, only because you're sort of kitty corner across from Dog River. Dog River, Road. yeah. You're very close to First Street. Yep. And so if you were proposing something that had a higher volume of traffic, um, this would raise some real concerns. Okay. You would be looking for a second road cut, perhaps. I yeah. would be asking you to perhaps provide a different road cut. Yep. Well, it's the state of Vermont highway. I so, understand. Yeah. But still, uh, <clears throat> they, they would get involved in if we, yeah, understood. Yeah, it, um, it, it was a high traffic thing. Obviously, you're talking about, yeah, one or two additional employees. It's not yeah. a high traffic, situation. not a lot going on. Yeah. Questions? Hearing none, just, uh, Tom, Tom, what yeah. are we classifying this use as? It's a it's in a mixed use uh location now, Carla. Right, but what is this? But what do we? What did you classify this as far as the zoning rights? I'm just curious. I think it's commercial and retail. Okay. So it's permitted use in this zone. Um, further questions, Carla? No, no, that's fine. Just go ahead. <laughs> um. I've had a chance to read everything. I'm not sure everybody else has, but uh, bicycle pedestrian access. Um, I'm not planning any specific stuff. There's not. There's no sidewalks along Route 12 at that point. There's not a lot of bicycle or pedestrian traffic. It's not the buildings. I don't have a retail showroom or anything like that that's going to bring people in. Um, it's strictly a, it's kind of a, wood, a working wood shop just for the employees and myself. So I'm not imagining any pedestrian or bicycle traffic um, really up the drive to the structure at all. Any thoughts, Tom? I'm good. Okay. Anybody? Landscaping? Landscaping, I'm proposing the, you know, the, in that area, the other structures that are there right across the street is um, the U-Haul dealership and Flywheel Industrial Arts and kind of the commercial building there that uh, Jason Merrill owns. Uh, and then Morse Auto on the other corner. Um, the screening, there's already screening like a natural hedgerow on bo both the, I'm calling it the south end of the property, but heading towards the trailer park, towards First Street. There's a natural hedgerow that screens those um, 
residences. Red Hedge Row is on your property, is it not? I think it's probably pretty much right on the line, but it is. there's plenty of it that is, it's not just one narrow band, yeah, yeah. it's actually several feet wide. And then the same thing is true going toward to the north. Um, there's a, a residence that is several hundred feet away, more than 400 feet away, um, but there is a natural barrier and screening both of landscape on that. So I'm proposing to preserve the existing um, screening that's, that's already there. Well, the um, under 3204C, landscaping plans. Uh, normally, a landscaping plan is required. Okay. Right. Uh, but um, under the 3400C, the um, DRB can uh, waive that requirement if the uh, uh, if there's minimal or no changes to existing landscaping. So uh, you really are requesting. In fact, since you're not provided a landscaping plan, you're asking for a waiver. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just I bring that up that 3204C applies. Uh, does anybody object to waiving that requirement? I just kind of have a concern because you know when I I look at the property, it doesn't seem to be that screened <laughs> to me, and you know maybe it's just me, and I I don't know. You know I think this is an opportune time to actually meet the regulations and screen it. Well, it's, it's actually set back fairly far from the road. In my view is it's set back yeah. pretty far from the road. Um, uh, it does have screening north and south as you look drive along 12. Right, but it doesn't have it along the road. Uh, along the road, no. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not sure that I've, I, those buildings are any more objectionable than any other building in that area. In fact, they're probably the least objectionable buildings in the area, <laughs> with all due respect to anybody else that owns property there. Um, so I, I, I hear you. I, I'm not sure I agree with you. Uh, what would you suggest? Well, it would have been nice to have seen a, a landscape plan, but um, and to have some proposed landscaping. But, you know, if I'm in the minority here, I understand. <laughs> I'm strong on landscaping. Yes, you are. <laughs> and, and, and we appreciate that. <laughs> Carla Tour, how say you? I'm um, fine, but can I go, can, I hate to, I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass, but on the application it says light industrial, and I just, light industrial is conditional use, so I just want to make sure we do this right procedurally um so that everything's kosher well this warrant is a mixed use i think uh, maybe irick thought it was uh, mm -hmm. but it, it's been worn as mixed use carla no i mean the the the, the on the it says application is made to extend and it says like light industrial is checked which Oh. I can see why this might be considered light industrial, I guess. But I mean, I have no problem with the, with what you're doing. I just want to make sure that we don't mess up the process. Okay. Uh, are we in a mixed use zone? We are. I thought it, I thought I looked it up and we were on a mixed use. So it really doesn't matter what the application says. We're in a mixed use zone. Correct. Uh, and I'm not referring to the zone. I'm referring to the activity. Uh. I'm not following you. To, to the use, because if you go to mixed use, light if it's if it's in fact a light industrial activity, it's a conditional use. Oh, I see what she's saying. She's saying that the the work the the workshop is a light industrial use. Potentially, yeah. I mean, I can see it. Oh, maybe I, being I, area. I I think if the scale is larger, significantly larger than what what. Uh, the applicant is proposing that that it would would fall. This is such small scale. I don't. Okay. Think, uh, I don't yeah. think it would fall trying... into light industrial. <laughs> okay. I'm not like I said. I just want to make sure pro procedurally we don't do anything that we might. Does, does the applicant agree with that? I would agree that. Yeah. I think it's mostly my uh, ignorance as to what you know categorizes as, as which, and I frankly don't know specifically what the letter of the law difference is. With a letter of the code, but I would consider it more commercial than industrial, I guess. I, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I think it falls in a permitted use 
under several categories, very frankly, uh, under uh, in the mixed use district. So, you know, if you characterize it as storage, if you characterize it as a repair and service, um, it, it all falls in the same category. So, okay, so I just wanted to raise the issue because it, I just want to, you know, that's fine. Thank you, Thank you Carla. Okay. We're on, you, we're on landscaping. I know. I was going to ask you any more on landscaping. I'm okay with the landscaping, whatever waiver. <laughs> I am too. I mean, yeah. I always like to see more landscaping, but this project where it's located, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think given the location, given its type of structure it is, I, 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 I'm, I'm good with it. Um, now, having said that, we'd all probably wouldn't mind if you planted a few bushes yeah. out in front. <laughs> Yeah. Um, to break up the um, landscape in front of the buildings. Okay. So uh, I'm not prepared to make that a criteria, but uh, I think there would be a step in the right direction. Good faith. Sure. You've heard the board. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I agree with the chair on that. Noted. Yeah. Hours of operation? Uh, we run pretty standard hours of operation sometime between uh, the earliest we're there is six in the morning, but that's very, very rare. Mostly it's seven till six at night, something along those lines. Every once in a while we're there in the evening. Um, now, are you operating out of the existing structure now? Or are you I'm not. You're operating out of a different structure Dif in East Montpelier? I'm actually in Berlin. Yeah. Berlin. Yeah, I'm up, off right off of East, uh, I'm sorry, off of Route 2, um, just past the GMC truck dealership in where the wig goddess is. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I see yeah, yeah, I read from Steve Rivellini up there. It'll be a longer drive to work. It's going to be a little bit longer. He's moving. Yeah. He's moving. Well, I'm moving, <laughs> moving to Berlin. Okay. Yeah. No, I see. Okay. You know, if there's some space on the DRB. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, good. Well, we, we could use another person on DRB. <laughs> <laughs> um, Setbacks, you've shown that you meet the setback requirements. Anybody have any questions about setbacks? No. Outdoor lighting? Outdoor lighting, I, I um, intend on no like all night long security lighting just for safe egress and access to the building. Um, it'll meet the dark sky requirements. I brought a couple of cut sheets with me of the style of thing that I'm considering, um, if that'd be helpful. Um, now, those are gonna shut off at night? They would be shut out. Yeah, they'd be shut off. At, so they motion activated. Motion activated. Based correct. on your testimony. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And no yard lights. No yard lights. I gather you're gonna have a light over the garage door. Correct. And one over each person door. Each. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Questions on lighting? No. Uh, storm water and drainage. Storm water and drainage. Uh, it's the not really changing the landscape so much. So there's a large swale uh, or drainage that runs right along Route 12, and we're close enough to that that I think most of the storm water will run that way. The driveway is also well drained currently, is and above, above the um, land on both sides, and there's also a drainage on the south side of the driveway. So I think it will, what it, the existing drainages will adequately take care of any storm water. And you're not obviously disturbing a large area. We're not disturbing a large area at all. No. Questions on stormwater drainage? No. Um, utilization of renewable energy resources. Municipal service impact. I, I see no municipal service impact per se. Um, you have good access for emergency vehicles. Uh, and you indicate it's not a flood hazard. Not a flood hazard. Uh, you do provide us with an um, elevation of the buildings. Yep. Uh, you want to just quickly explain what you're proposing there? Yep. So the gable of the existing log building runs, I'm going to say, parallel with Route 12. And my plan is to make the uh, ridge of the new building run parallel with that. So we're kind of basically extending the existing structure, although the addition will be higher, will be taller than the existing log log building um, natural wood siding on the outside uh, metal roofing uh, garage door on the south end of the building for deliveries and access and then person doors on the 
uh, next to that garage door and then one on each of the long sides of the one on the long side of the log structure one on the long side of the addition and what type of material is the building going to be made of it's wood framed wood frame and siding is siding's wood wood yeah wood paneling or uh like a natural like boards, boards. yeah tongue yeah. and groove or shiplap yeah okay yeah. nice nice Hope good. we could find a good carpenter. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got to ask you out of curiosity. Yeah. So the log building is in good condition. It's in great shape. Really? Yeah. The found the you know that soil is really well drained right through there, and the um, the slab that it's on is in great condition. There's a yeah. few few hairline cracks, but the slab itself's in great shape. And the log buildings that have big overhangs. Because it's been there a long. How, when was that built? I, I want to say early to mid '70s is what I was told. Oh. And. Uh, <laughs> It's in great shape. Yeah. The bottom logs, there's a couple soft spots, but nothing that I'm concerned about at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's in great shape. Yes. Uh, any questions about the buildings? No. Do um, you have anything else you want to tell us about the project? Not in particular. I'm excited about it. <laughs> no, um, uh, the, um, any information you want to share? No, not at this chair. I think it's a pretty self-explanatory application. And welcome to the town of Berlin. Yes. Yeah. Questions by the board? No. Motion to close the hearing. I have a question. <laughs> I have always wanted to learn woodworking, and I I, there, I can't find any classes around. Do you know anybody that teaches? There, I do know a couple. There's a couple different schools actually in Vermont that teach woodworking. You can take a class down at Yes Tomorrow School down in the Waitsfield area. So a combination of yesterday and tomorrow. And there's, yep. there's another one called the Vermont School of Woodworking, which is up in Chittenden County. Uh, and both offer pretty good introductory woodworking classes. I used to teach a ton down at Yes Tomorrow. I haven't taught there in years, but uh, I did teach there for many years. And um, the folks up at the Vermont Woodworking School are really are pretty good as well. And then there's a guy, the shop teacher at U32, Dave Bezos, is has always made noise about wanting to teach woodworking um, in the off hours and in the summer. So he, I bet if you yeah. put a bug well, in his- Yeah, they used to do it at Spalding, I think, but they don't do it in, in, in Barry, yeah. they don't do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, well, interesting. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, good. It's a good backup career for an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know, I see these things. Bobby. <laughs> My boss had a, had a really, it was just a, a piece of wood that was made into this, you know, bowl and it was had it was flawed, but it was just gorgeous. And I'm like, I want to learn to make that kind of stuff. <laughs> it was from it was from uh, what's that expensive place in Queechee? Um, Simon Pierce. So it probably cost yeah. a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Was... yeah. They have nice stuff down there. I just went to Portland, Oregon, and the hotel was um, accented with these big strips of wood. They would be hanging like to separate areas. It was gorgeous. Uh, the, the, the uh, high school that serves um, Williston in that area, they offer night classes in bull, oh, they do? bull, bull turning. They do. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, neat. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we digress. Yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> oh. That's good. That's good. The important business. Of the yeah, really. Yeah. It's important to these things. So, Carl, yeah. uh, just don't get so involved that you have to quit the board you're on. <laughs> well, you know, it's not a long time. I don't know. That time may be coming up. Um, okay. Uh, well, I would intend that we close the hearing. Thank you. Second. Well, it's second by tour. Uh, is there a discussion of that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, since it's unanimous, uh, this hearing is closed. So how the process works, likely yeah. the, this board will go in a deliberative session tonight and discuss this project. Okay. Uh, from from that outcome, I'll contact you. Okay. And then we'll go from there. That's great. Okay. Thank you all for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Neighbor. <laughs> Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> Thank you, neighbor. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Take care, all. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Um, we have one other item on our agenda, 
and I'll call it right now. It's the approval of minutes of August 2nd, um, ah. 2022. <laughs> and um, uh, I submitted comments on those minutes and, um, and uh, others have. Polly, do you have some comments on that? I, I may have, but I think she submit, then submitted a revised version, right? Correct. No, I, only in the only in the findings. Yeah, she, she incorporated oh. the, the comments into the findings, but the minutes need to still be corrected. Um, I can tell you what I understood from comments, if you like. Uh, that would be appreciated. Um, Buildings is is five, not three. Yep. And that was mentioned right. in a couple of places. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And then I added the uh, size of the two buildings that were on the ends there. Thank you. Um, uh, with the dimensions. And then I renumbered the exhibits so they made more sense. Okay. Yeah, that was my concern. And then, um, Polly, I think it was your comment where I added the access to the lower units was from but the front oh, right. by the door. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's all I really recall yep. as far as the minutes go. Yeah. Yeah, I that's it. <laughs> I don't have my email to you, but I also mentioned the lights on the uh, this is under section um 3205 that the lights on the building are um motion uh, activated. I don't know. I do okay. think you included that in the findings. Okay. The motion activated want lights. Do you want that in the minutes as well? Uh, yes, lights on the building are motion activated. Okay. Okay. So um, I'll make the motion to approve the minutes subject to those amendments. I'll second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Sorry, I, I was muted. Yeah, I, we, we saw your lips moving. <laughs> um, so, uh, all this, uh, we, we, we wrote it. We have four eyes. Uh, we're good. All right. Um, does anybody want to go into deliberate session on the matter we heard before the board tonight? Yeah. Pardon? I guess. I mean, I don't know what we have to discuss. It seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, I, I don't. Feel that we have to, but if anybody wants to go into the session, please just say so. Will you take action here outside of the liver session? Pardon? Will you take any action outside of the liver session? Um, you know what? Let's let's go into the session because it, it, it facilitates our process of um, yes. editing uh, uh, findings. So um, I'll make the motion to go into the liver session. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Uh, discussion of that motion? As I say, I think it, by going to the liberal session that we can continue the deliver session outside of the um, open hearing and, and come up with a, a findings that we'll all support. 7.28 uh, p.m. Yeah. 7.28 p.m. Uh, Was there did we motion? have a motion on it? we have a vote on that motion? I don't know. Aye. All in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And we are in deliberate session. I need to close everybody off. Yeah. Uh, deliberate session at um, 750. 7.50. 7.54. 7.50. Oh, yeah, that thing's stupid. Yeah. We need to fix that clock. You, we fix it, and it just goes right back to not being fixed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Before ah. adjournment, uh, just I, I was going to wait till the... Uh, we had the results of tonight's meeting there. So the next meeting of the DRB uh, two weeks from now is canceled. Okay. So um, uh, that is the 20th, right? 14th, yeah. the 20th of September. That meeting is canceled. Okay. That's all I have, Mr. Chair. As long as we don't bring it in October. <laughs> this is, I know. Okay, now I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so <laughs> it's been made by Tour, seconded by Polly. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 aye.
And we are adjourned. Thank you all very Thanks. much. Thank, Thank you all. Good night, Carla. Good night, Carla. Sorry. <laughs> Good night, Good night everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.